Hey everybody, Max here from Max Playground and welcome to a building tutorial. As you guys can see from the title of the video, it is how to build functional skylights. So um, if you guys have uh, played either like The Sims 3 or The Sims 4, um, or if you just kind of know what skylights are, basically it's like where the sun would come through in your house, you would have like a clear kind of window uh, in your roof. It's pretty cool. It looks really neat and it's really pretty. I find in real life when buildings have skylights. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I came across a tutorial on Tumblr that I will link in the description below. Uh, I thought it was pretty easy when I tried it out. And so I really want to show you guys how to do it. Um, I just want to put a side note out there. Um, personally, I didn't really want this to be the first video that I came back with for the new year. Hope you guys had a great new year, by the way. It isn't the video I really wanted to come back with with the new year um, because of uh, certain technical difficulties. I wasn't able to start my neighborhood uh, tours. I am in the works of trying to iron out some issues with my computer. My game has been crashing a lot and it's really getting in the way of doing like the kind of videos I really want to provide for you guys I really want to put out on the channel um so I'm kind of in the works of setting something else up right now um it's going to take a bit though so I want to let you guys know that this neighborhood neighborhood tours that I talked about on my community tab um it's not canceled it's just on hold but I promise that I will get some quality content in that regard up for you guys as soon as I can where my game isn't consistently crashing just want to put that out there as a side note, but yeah, getting back to this tutorial. So, um, what you want to do <laughs> is go into build mode. You're going to want to put um, the wall tool and you're going to just want to build like a house. I, I do this, like I, in the tutorial, I'm doing just a square, a simple square house. You can do however you want to do it. Uh, this one is just, it's easier to do in this regard. And then you're going to go to the second floor and you're going to build a second, like, you're going to build like a second thing. Okay. So I would do like a little square like this. Mm. You're going to want to do more of a rectangular shape. So I would leave two spaces. like that let's say okay it doesn't have to be even or anything like that this is just for the purpose of making the roof and the skylight like line up so yeah so then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to foundation and you're gonna want to do I would say maybe you could do one or you could do three. I'm going to do three for the ease of what I'm about to do. So you're going to take the foundation tool and you're going to make about one to three foundation. Okay. And you're going to go back to your wall tool. You're going, going to do that. You're going to make like a little thing, like a, like a little block of wall on your foundation and you're gonna this just kind of might make it easier just make sure the walls are up now this is where the part uh the little trickier part comes in if you aren't comfortable using this cheat don't worry you don't have to use it for very much if you know about this cheat and you know how to use it this probably won't be too difficult um so i'll put in the little pop up on the screen and so what you're going to do is you're going to bring up the cheat bar, which is CTRL, Shift, and C. And then you're going to type in this cheat here, which is constrain or bull, bull prop space, constrain floor elevation. And then you're going to press space and you're going to put in false to turn the cheat on. You just press enter. Bam. You're good. Now you go to the terrain tool, which is the one, the one with the little shovel and you go to the elevation and you make sure it's the first one. It says level. Okay. 
Make sure you're at the top where you have the grid on your little foundation piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to click and you're going to drag. Okay? You're going to drag. You're going to bring it down and you're going to drag it over the wall or the, like, the piece that you built on your house. Now, so you do that. You make sure that it goes down to that notch. Then you're going to bring up the cheat box again, which is Ctrl, Shift, and C. You're going to type in the cheat. So you're going to type in bool prop constrained floor elevation again. But instead of having it on false, you're going to turn the cheat off, and you're just going to type in true. So the cheat is off. Okay. Now you're going to go to the garden center. You're going to go to the gardening toggle and you're going to go where your, your greenhouse roofing is. Now you can do any color. I just personally prefer the way that the white one looks and you're going to make on like your your little cheated walls, <laughs> I don't really know what you would call it, but the little part on your house, you're going to drag the skylight over it, okay? You're going to make sure it's over the whole piece that you built. And then what you're going to do is you can use the hammer tool or you can use this the wall tool and you're just gonna take down you can this part unless you want to keep it just take it off take it out take it away take the hammer tool take the foundation away right then what you're gonna do is you're going to take the walls away that are under your roof okay that you did the cheat for you're just gonna take it away like that. Okay. So it's going to look like a floating roof. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go. Sorry if you hear that in the background. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the roof, the custom roof for the roof type. And you're going to do this one, the long gabled roof. Now, you're going to want to, oh, wait, no, maybe not the long gabled roof. You're going to pick the short gabled roof. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag your roof out to that area, okay? So you're going to make it look like that. Don't worry. It looks a little weird at first, trust me, but it, it'll come together. <laughs> so then you do the other side as well. So it looks like a floating thing is still floating okay now you're gonna take the shed gable roof and you're gonna drag it out and you're gonna make sure that it is like so you're gonna do probably two tiles or however many tiles between the wall and the skylight so as you can see you do that And then you do the other side and you do that. Okay. Now this is where you use a little bit of finicking, fini like finicking where you kind of have to play with the, the angle of your roof. So you're going to want to bring it down a little bit. So make it where it matches up to your skylight. So still, it's a little bit taller, so you might want to bring it down just a little bit. See, not too much, though, right? Because you don't want it to look unequal. So I would bring it still down just a teeny bit. You just got to play with that, like, angle. See, like, that probably is good. And then you have to do the other side. You can play with the other side to play with the roofs, like the roof slope. So it, and it, you'll see little changes, but it's just, they're making, it's just making changes to the, um, the walls, but it like the, these kind of walls. 
um, on this on the roof sizes but if you want to see like you just find a perfect size for the, like a perfect elevation for this roof roof to make it look seamless and depending on the pattern for the roof you want to use sometimes it's just really simple when you don't even notice that it looks like there's two different roofs there and you have your skylight now I'll show you kind of how kind of how um, <laughs> slow moving but what it would look like from the inside see and you get your skylight so this is more for I would say houses that have mainly just one floor or you could do um, it would be on like your second floor kind of thing but it makes it kind of a cool roof pattern um, I know or well yeah roof pattern or roof structure in the house um, and you could do some cool things with that if you really want to um, I think this was a really like and it looks good like I think it looks quite nice um, if you're at if you want to know if you want to know my personal opinion which is why I did this I thought maybe some of you guys would like to know how to do something like that um, I plan to possibly use it in a, in a speed build that's coming up but yeah so like I'm just gonna do a little um, just a little point of interest to show you guys kind of or like a you know not a really point of interest I guess but just a little build kind of building just to show you guys like how you can make it work and what you're gonna want to do I didn't bring that make it long enough so what you guys can do is you can just kind of make this go just you know you can do different things with this right like you can make it a little like a house essentially I just want to show you guys how it would look you can do whatever, really. Not the nicest color, but, you know, and you can do something like that. So you can make it look. You could also do, like, you know, one or two tile skylights as well. You can do, like, just two or, you know, it, it would be really neat if you want. Like, I would love to make a house, like a gardener's kind of house, like a nature really nature-based house that you know could use uh would use natural skylight and i could see them using solar panels and stuff like that a very you know nature enthusiastic person that likes that cares about the environment and stuff like that so you could just really just do you could just experiment but now that you know how to do them um i definitely would love to see uh different um different things that you guys did you can um you can post it on if you have a tumblr you can maybe like post it on tumblr tag me in it on tumblr i am i believe it's max playground sims or something like that the link for my tumblr is down below if you want to check that out or you can tag me on twitter which is at max playground so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did give it a thumbs up consider hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you want to get notifications whenever i upload uh, feel free to hit the little bell. Um, it really helps a lot, uh, both engaging with the video. It helps the channel, pushes the videos out there for more people to discover. Um, I'm really all about sharing Sims 2 creators in the YouTube space. Um, I love whenever I find any type of new creator. So I want you guys to um, go and check out. If you're into The Sims 2 and you want to know more channels, I see a lot of different posts about it over Facebook, over Tumblr, over Twitter. Um, if you guys want to see more Sims 2 content creators, um, you can head to my channel um, and there is the channels tab. Check that out. I have a ton of Sims 2 content creators, some awesome, awesome people over there. So please do check that out. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will be talking to you in my next one. Bye guys.